Thanks for joining me. We're building this news media app. This is part six, so go back and see the other parts if you haven't seen it. So far we got login, so I can type in a username and a password. And right now I think it just logs to the log hat. Um, going to login screen, password incorrect. So we're doing a basic check to see if uh, password is secret. It's not secure, but there are a lot of things I don't like about this, and today we're going to fix a lot of them. So go back and see the first five parts. Actually, let me just go ahead and show you what it looks like. So I'll do, I can type in secret, I think is what we're supposed to do, button. And it takes you to the news media screen, I guess. It's kind of this, uh, you know, it's going to show us like the news, like technology story about Google or Android or whatever. Five minutes ago, you can search for stories. We're just getting started. This is part six, but there's a lot I don't like about this. So for number one, Sorry. So number one, I haven't opened this up in a like maybe a year. It's in Kotlin, but I haven't opened it up in a long time. Um, I just ran it and you know, I'm getting this update Gradle. So I'm going to go ahead and update that. And it's like an update it from 3.3.1 to 3. whatever. Yeah, update that. Always want to do that and just wait for Gradle to finish. It'll pull in the latest stuff. It'll probably change some of our code. And this may take a few seconds. So I'm just going to wait for Gradle to build. Let's just pull in all the stuff, and you can kind of see what it's doing down here. It's going to the internet. It's pulling the latest Gradle and blah, blah, blah stuff. You know, it's taking a little bit of time. So we'll just wait for that to finish. In the meantime, yeah, there's not a whole lot here. Just an image, a title. Um, so the air, the Gradle, blah, 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 only Kotlin. So yeah, go ahead and update that. Just... What's the difference? Yeah, do refactor. So I'm gonna wait for this. I'm just kind of following the prompts in Android Studio. So, Gradle project synced fail build functionality. Let's try again. Let's just sync Gradle. Um, hopefully this will work. I'm just upgrading some of the Gradle stuff. And I'm doing this because I haven't, uh, I haven't even opened this project up in like a year. So like, Gradle is updated, other stuff behind the scenes is going on and just watch the toolbar, everything's working, and I think this might have been, oh, it's indexing now. Okay, that worked. So very important, let's go ahead and run it because there's nothing worse than making changes for hours, running it only to find that it fails. So I'm gonna run it just to make sure that it works. And let's just wait, Gradle build is running. Sorry, this is kind of boring part, but this is, very necessary. If you haven't opened up this project in a long time, um, you may need to do the same thing. And I think all the code for this is on GitHub, so if you want to check it out, check it out on GitHub. Gradle build running. It may take a minute here because we just built it. And, or just, just because we just updated a bunch of Gradle stuff. So, <coughs> so when I run it, it should take us directly to the home screen. Let's just see if it works. It could crash or something. And oh, it works. Okay, cool. So you don't need to do this, but I'm gonna do this really quickly. I'm gonna uh, go ahead and make a git commit there. I'm gonna go ahead and call this just for now. You don't need to do this. I'm doing this just for me, basically. So update Gradle. Um, I'll, I'll maybe go into git in a future lesson, but this basically lets us know that uh, no changes were made. So great, okay. So this is working. So another thing you'll notice is if I go into the activity, um, Actually, if I go here, uh, or let me just go into Gradle scripts. So on the left, I'll go into Gradle. I'll go into app module. And I think we're using, so if you look for our implementation, look for our dependencies. So not, the, not that Gradle file, but this Gradle file. We have a lot of support library stuff. And that is pretty much gone. So what we need to do is we need to like, uh, yeah, so go to, so because we're using a lot of, um, we're using the Android support library, so Android.support v7, you know, all that kind of stuff. We don't need to use that anymore. We have, we've upgraded it, or uh, Android has updated it to uh, Android X. So let's go to refactor, and let's just do migrate to Android X. And before proceeding, we recommend that you make a backup of your project. I have it in Git. It's not really a big deal, and it's on GitHub, so I'm not really concerned about that. Dependencies on your project might change. There might be errors. Do you want to migrate? Yes, I do. So migrate. And that should get rid of that support library there, I think. 
I'm gonna go ahead and do refactor. Let's just let it do all its work. And it's given us a bunch of errors and okay, so I think it's done. Okay, cool, I think it's done. <coughs> Sorry. So I think if you notice, now we have Android X there. So before it was like android.support.b7.appcompat, whatever. So I think it changed it from android.support to android x.appcompat. So I'm gonna go ahead and save it and I'm gonna go ahead and run it. Let's go back to the emulator. We need to make sure this works. So we don't want to, you, we don't really wanna make big changes and not run it. Um, especially if you're just starting out, make a small change, run it, just to make sure it works. So if you know, so if, if it doesn't work, then you know what kind of what the problem is. Okay, so this is working. So same thing, I'm gonna make another git commit, uh, command k, and you can see, yeah, change it from android.support to Android X dot test, you know, we can see all the files that changed. It changed that from Android X. This is like, this is Git, you don't need to do this. Um, I may explain Git in a future lesson, but it changed all this stuff from support to Android X. All these files changed, a lot of files changed. I'll just do, I'll do update to, uh, to Android X. That's kind of my message there, just for me. So the cool thing is, if I go to, ver this is just, I I'll do this in another lesson. But you see every single time I make a uh, git commit, I can just go back. So say I want to say, oh, say Android X, say the Android X migration didn't work. We can go, oh, we'll go back to the Gradle. We'll revert to there. Or, hey, I'll go back to video number four, number three. or I'll go back to the video number one. I can see exactly what changed. So that's all Git. If there's enough interest, I may do a video on Git in a future lesson. Okay, so everything is working. Um, I'm looking at the code. I haven't written this in a long time. I don't really like it. I don't like that we're doing a bunch of logic inside of here. I don't like that we don't have a view model. I don't like that we're not, what to fix first. Um, you know, let, let's do a little bit of refactoring. So, uh, so git commit, yeah, there's nothing to commit. And that's primarily just for me. So we have our login activity. This is a first activity we get to. Um, so that's the one where you first open it up and it asks, and it asks you to log in. Um, let's go ahead and I just want to do this. So I don't think we have access to... So I think what we need to do, I'm going to go ahead and just Google it. So I'll go to, I'll go to Android, I'll do uh, Android view model. And we can see what we need to import for this. So I'll just go ahead and go to, uh, it's an ad for that, reference, um, I'll go, I'll go here because why not? And I'll close my bookmarks while I'm at it. Okay, so here we are. So we're kind of like, so this is, so I have done a lot of uh, Android, I've done a lot of view model and live data and stuff in previous lessons. Actually, let's do this, let's Google, let's do uh, Gradle. And this should take us directly to the link where we can actually pull in the import. So you're yeah, adding components to your project. So we'll see what we need to add to our project. So we already, so if you read through this, um, it'll tell you what to add. If I go to the bottom here, we might already, so and it's basically talking about, oh, this is the KTX stuff, but let's go ahead and do this. I think we need to pull in the dependencies. I haven't checked. Uh, let's do, let's see, declaring dependencies. Let's go to life cycle here, and let's see what we need to pull in, okay. So here are all of our dependencies. So if you read through this, it kind of says what we need to add to make, uh, to, to, it's kind of what we need to add to our app to make, uh, to add a view model. So um, thinking where to begin. Let's go ahead and do this. So for view model and live data, so basically it's saying, hey, copy this line into your Gradle file for a view model. Or if you want to use, use live data, we do that. Um, or we can do life cycles, or we can do, um, I think we can do both of these. So view model, I don't think we already have it in our Gradle file. So if you search here for, if you search for view model, yeah, we don't have it. Um, no view model, so let's go back to Chrome. So I think there was one for both of them, but maybe not. That's life cycles without view model. Let's go ahead and copy these two lines. I'm just gonna copy those. And let's see what else we need. Well, we'll start with that. So I'll go down to our build.gradle file and I'll go ahead and paste those two lines in. 
I'll, I'll just put an enter there just so we can know what's new. So these two lines are new. And, uh, and here, in this case, it's having us, it has versions for that. If you don't know what the version is, a cool little tip, you can always put like 0 0.1, and we can do a 0 0.1. You'll notice it kind of highlights it for you. So it says, hey, 2 dot, so if you look for the little tool tip, it says, hey, 2 dot, 2 dot 0 is available. So let's do that. Let's do 2 dot, 2 dot 0. It gets rid of that, gets rid of the highlighting. This is highlighted, so 2 dot, 2 dot 0. So we'll do, do 2 dot, 2 dot 0. Or if you want, you can always use the variables there. Kind of up to you. Just for now, I'm using that. Get rid of a. Okay, so we have our new. Um, we pulled in view model on live data. Let's see what else we need to pull in. So save state, annotation processor. Um, let's see what else we need. So we don't need, we're not testing, so we don't need that. We can kind of see that one's optional test for live data, optional. We don't need that. Annotation processor, we can pull this in. So annotation processor, we can use cap Android X. Kind of the same thing, we use our lifecycle version, which is two dots. So Android, so that's actually out of date. That's actually wrong, I think. That should be 2.2.0. But you can know if you do 2.1.0, it highlights it and says, hey, you know, there's 2.2.0 is available. So Google's documentation is just a little bit out of date. No big deal. Um, yeah, just use 2.2.0. Or, you know, if in a future lesson, if it's, you know, 3. Dot whatever, do 3.2.0 or whatever your tooltip says. So mine says 2.2.0 is the latest. Okay, so we have that. And I'm going to go ahead and just copy that line. We'll pull this in. I'll do that. And the version, I'll do same kind of trick, 0 0.1. It's a low version. And it says, hey, 2.2.0 is available. So we'll do 2.2.0. And while we're at it, we can update this other stuff to 1.1.0 and 3.2.0. Sorry, this might be a little bit complicated and not fun, but it's a definitely a necessary step. So I'm gonna go ahead and sync the project, and let's just see if this works. This could give us some errors. And if we have errors, we're just gonna have to go back and think about, think through some stuff, and I hope it works. I really hope it works. Indexing, okay, I think it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and save it, and I'm gonna go back and run it just to make sure it works in an emulator or on a physical device. And let's just see. So Gradle Build is running. And I hope it works. And it looks like it works. Okay, cool. So it works. So it's good. I'm going to make another commit. And also you can go to, uh, I'm just doing this just for me, but we can go to get, um, then we'll do where, I, I use the keyboard shortcut. It's like, uh, uh, I don't see it there. How do you commit? Commit. There it is. So you won't have this set up, but it kind of shows us, I'll do add view model. So you don't need to do this step right here. I'll just commit it just for me. Um, I may make a, so git is like I sh what I showed earlier. It kind of makes a history for us. It kind of tells us, it's like, a little, it's like saving little snapshots of your code so you can go back in time and see what you changed. So that's good, that's working. Uh, we're done with that, I'm gonna close that. And now we have, I'm gonna go ahead and create, this is giving us an error, instrumentation tests, that doesn't work. Um, that, we're not gonna be concerned with that for now. I'm gonna go ahead and close everything. I'll just close everything there, go to app, Java. Um, actually, we've done a lot in this video. I think I'm gonna stop the video here and, oh, main activity, oh, we got login activity, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video here. And the next video, we'll, we'll refactor some of this stuff. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, ref, we'll, we'll refactor this to use a view model. So that's it for now. Sorry this was kind of boring, I know. Just updating Gradle stuff can be a hassle, but it's very important and it uses the latest libraries from Google. So if, it, if there are security concerns or new features added or bugs fixed, it's probably addressed in the latest version of Gradle. So by actually going inside of here and updating all of your or dependencies here, that will make sure that you're on the latest libraries and using the freshest, newest code from Google. See you in the next video.